to me that Peter Piper's prophetic. And like all fairy tales end, you'll see Jay again, my friend. Why do we say that? My name seems like a fairy tale. Who's the freshest DJ MC crew around? Ah, uh, you know who. Come on. Who? Jam Master J. Run DMC. Hip hop in the early 80s was a time of love and respect. B boys, boom boxes, and break dancing. Battles were fought on the mic, the turntables, the city walls, and on the dance floor. But just as art reflects life, hip-hop was rapidly changing. A fly young DJ from Hollis, Queen, named Jason Mizell got his start by rocking the party in the neighborhood park. Now what was so important about Jay is that Jay was the hood. Like, Hollis is Jay. And without Jay, there's really, Hollis, Queens is not even on the map. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Here, a magical combination was born. When DMC, DJ Run, and Jazzy Jace, as he called himself at the time, joined forces and launched the legendary rap group Run DMC and Jam Master J. Hip hop would never be the same. Goddamn, that DJ made my day. He's the reason why there's so many DJs DJing behind a rap group right now. Run DMC and Jam Master J. Jam, Jam Master J. Like he turned the DJ into the household name. With the release of their self-titled album, Run DMC, next king of rock, and then raising hell, Run DMC and Jam Master J were going to break all records, and Blaze Trails never before traveled by a rap group. They were the first rappers on MTV, Yo, what's up? MTV on the cover of Rolling Stone, on the Walk of Fame, on American Bandstand, on Saturday Night Live, and achieving both gold and platinum status. They were truly the kings of rock. I tell people all day, man, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't never seen a Run DMC show, you don't know nothing about hip hop. The 90s took rap music in many different directions. Run DMC reinvented themselves with the new laid back look as gangster rap took the hip hop spotlight. I used to tell my DJ, if you look at Jam Master J, maybe you'll get an understanding of what I'm trying to do up here on the stage, because all MCs wanted to have a DJ that tight. Though album sales slumped for Run DMC, Jay being the hustler that he was, joined forces with Russell Simmons and Leo Cohen to start JMJ Records. I was like the fly sect of Death Jam. Like, they was like, because JMJ just had that pizzazz and he had the ear to the streets. He launched such acts as the multi-platinum selling group, Honest. You know what I mean? He taught us how to fucking rock a crowd, man. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, there's only a few who can do it like us. He discovered many of today's hip-hop hit makers. Jay is the reason that I got signed in Def Jam. That's what he did. He produced Onyx, and he produced 50 Cent, and he produced some other groups. That's what, you know, that's what he was here for. By chance, one night in Queens, Jay ran into a young rapper named Curtis Jackson, AKA 50 Cent. A friend of mine introduced me to Jam Master J from Run DMC. The first record label I was signed to was JMJ Records. Jay automatically took a liking to 50, signed 50 to JMJ Records, taught him the games and how to focus on his destiny of becoming a superstar. Big shout out to my man 50 Cent doing it, you know what I'm saying? Me and him go way, way, way back, man. That's one of my shorties, man, coming up in the game. One of the best MCs in the world, man. Watch this boy shine, for real. Due to the hectic touring schedule, Jay released 50 Cent from his JMJ Records contract. He wasn't able to focus on me at the time, so I left. In the year 2000, Run DMC released their final album to date, Crown Royal. The group found themselves dealing with a flop, an increasing inner turmoil. When Run and D were like this, I think Jason was the man in between them going, yo, y'all both better cool out now. During this dark time for Jay, it is speculated that he may have turned back to the streets to meet his financial needs. You gon' ride or die. Real recognize real, man. I met Jam J one time, man, and uh, was inspired enough to walk around wearing his name on my arm for the rest of my life, man. So that's what it is, man. A nigga told me to handle my business, told me to pay my taxes. Advice from a legend to keep my paper stacking, you know what I mean? 
2002 seemed like a blessing from God. Run DMC got the call to go on tour with Kid Rock and Aerosmith, and they were in talks to finally be signed to Def Jam. We just got dropped off on Arista, you know what I'm saying, which is kind of like a blessing because we about to sign a Def Jam. The future was looking bright for Jay, but little did Jay know there were forces working in the dark to shut out his light. On October 30th, 2002, sometime between 7 and 8 o'clock p.m., two masked gunmen supposedly burst into Jay's studio 24-7 and murdered the one and only Jam Master Jay. With an execution style, two shots to the head, the legendary DJ who had inspired and entertained legions of fans with his talent, love, and musical genius was taken from this world. I was like, what? And all I remember saying was what? And then I just dropped the phone and just like fell down to my knees like, you know, and just start bawling, just start crying real hard because I'm like, still can't believe it. Or on the shocking murder of Jam Master Jay. The only witnesses to the murder were five of Jay's seemingly closest associates. Sources immediately pointed to a number of potential leads. Some say the murder was linked to a drug deal gone bad. Others to a few with Murder Inc. over Jay's affiliation with 50 Cent. There was a rumor about an old debt to Curtis Schoond, but many people say the investigation never needed to travel any further than outside that studio. Security camera recordings had been removed, evidence had been tampered with, and all of Jay's so called friends in the studio have said nothing to help the investigation. It, it just shook everybody, man. What could we do to embrace the family and make sure that the legacy? of Jam Master J never dies. He's a good brother, he always told me that hip hop is bigger than just New York. You know, I'm a DJ, that's my history, that's where I started from. So Jam Master J gonna always be a role model to me. As a DJ, also as a producer, you're a definitely miss brother. God bless you, love you Jam Master J, yeah. Jam Master J, you forever be loved and remembered. Uh, the police investigation is stalled because none of the people who might really be able to help are cooperating with the police. Never in his life would he show any disrespect to anybody in hip hop. He was a very great man. And the fact that he was in the biggest rap group ever never changed the way he treated people. Garth Brooks got fucking murdered. I bet they'll find his killer. He's a legend. His name will live on forever. A brother that was so successful, he still built his studio in the hood and kept it in the hood. It's sad that the hood would take his life, you know, because he was a great man. The message that you really get is it's real. My cousin's kill is still on the loose, and for that, there's no excuse. Come with us on a journey. You know I had love for you, boy. If you're looking down, smiling right now, because we're still doing what we're supposed to be doing. It's a phenomenal teacher, and thank God, I wish he was still alive. Jam Master Jay was the Pied Piper. That was the best word you could use for Jay ever. Love, love. Two turntables and a microphone. The life and death of Jam Master Jay.